you can have respect for people and still compete with them. We're not talking about war here. You know, we're talking about baseball. We're talking about a game. One thing is clear. These two coaches have the utmost respect for each other. And it all started when Carrick Jackson was named head coach at Southern. I don't remember who reached out to who, but uh, you, you did. You, uh, I've told people um, that you were, you were one of the first people to reach out to me when I got the job. So, um, that, and that meant a lot to me. Do you remember what that text said? Uh, congratulations on the job. Uh, you know, look forward to meeting you and let's get together when you get down here. It took me about five minutes of sitting down with Carrick over lunch to realize that Southern University baseball is going to be in great hands. I'm a first year head coach, or I was a first year head coach last, last year. So there's so many things uh, that I've gone through and, and he and I have traded texts or brief phone calls and he's been able to give me some guidance in that. Only 11 miles separate LSU and Southern, but on Wednesday night, it will be 90 feet inside of Alec Box Stadium. And the one thing that I challenge them on is, hey, listen, LSU doesn't need any more fans. If you want to be a fan, I'll let you purchase a ticket. But when we walk in that dugout, it's about competing, and which is tough, again, because when you have kids that are from the state of Louisiana, they grow up being LSU fans. And so we have to get their minds to shift from being, oh, I'm here to, I'm here to handle business. This is a business trip. When 6.30 rolls around on Wednesday night and the first pitch is, is made, Carrick's going to do his job to the best of his ability, and I'm going to do my job to the best of my ability. And when the game is over, we'll go across the, the diamond, we'll shake hands, probably hug each other, and, you know, we'll get ready for the next one.